This is Lesson 16 Homework, Module 7, Grade 2. Write your name. Do that now so you don't forget it later. And we're going to circle the unit that would best measure each object. We're not going to measure these objects. We're just going to think about what would be the right unit to use. And uh, before we get started on this, I'll just say that we're talking about inches, feet, and yards. A regular ruler, a 12-inch ruler, that's a foot long. 12 inches is a foot. So if it's going to take much more than two of these to measure something, we're going to be talking about inches. Um, more, than, uh, more than two of these, we're going to be talking uh, about feet. Yards are really for things um, outdoors. Really large things we measure in yards. Long distances, uh, even boats are measured in feet. So it's going to be pretty long to be measured in yards. There's not going to be a lot of examples for those, but we'll see them. Uh, the height of a door. The height of a door, we can measure that in feet. That's going to be an awful lot of inches. We could say how many inches it was, but really we're talking about feet. For a textbook, that's something that's going to be not much more than a foot if it is, so we're going to measure that one in inches. A pencil, that's probably going to be less than a ruler. So we'll measure that one in inches. The length of a car. We don't want to count that in inches. That's a lot of inches to count. That's going to be feet. Now the length of your street, that's going to be a lot of feet. Now something outdoors like the length of your street or the length of a football field, that those kinds of things, or a soccer field, those things are measured in yards. So the length of your street could be measured in yards. And a uh, paintbrush is something that's going to be less than, not nearly as long as a ruler usually, so that's going to be something that's measured in just inches. And now we're looking at uh, some estimates for each object, um, about how long something is, not exactly, just how, you know, something close. Uh, the height of a flagpole, flagpoles are really tall, is it going to be more or less or about the same as the length of a yardstick. A yardstick is only three feet. That's three rulers end to end. So uh, flagpoles have to be a lot taller than that. So the height of a flagpole is going to be more. Uh, then we're looking at the width of a door. Now when we're talking about the width of a door. We're talking about how far across it is, not how tall it is. So just to make sure you know what I mean. There's a like, picture of a door it would be a really tiny door, but there's a picture of a door, and we're talking about how long it is. Where long is usually it's the how the longest side is the length, and the shorter side is the width. So for the width of a door, we're talking about how far across the door it is, not how tall it is. So the width of a door is it going to be about? Is it going to be more than, less than, or about the same as the length of a yardstick? The yardstick is about is three feet, and it's going to be about the same as a yardstick. It might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit less, but really it's going to be about the same. Uh, the length of a laptop computer, is it going to be more than, less than, or about the same as the length of a 12-inch ruler? So that's a foot. 12-inch ruler is a foot. Now, depending on the laptop computer you have, or that you might be measuring or thinking of, most of them are about 12 inches. Some of them might be longer if they have a really big screen. And if you have a, something small, like a netbook, like a Chromebook or something like that, it might even be less than a 12 inch ruler. But it's gonna be pretty close to about the same, about the same as a 12 inch ruler. It might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit less, but really it's gonna be about the same. Uh, the length of a cell phone is it going to be more than or less than or about the same as the length of a 12 inch ruler? Now a cell phone, something you can fit in your pocket, it's not going to be the length of a whole ruler. So it's definitely going to be smaller than that. So it's important that it's going to be less than the length of a 12 inch ruler. On our second page, we're going to have a lot of different possible answers for this because 
you're going to have to remember three different things that are in your classroom and decide what unit you would use to measure that object and record it in the chart in a full a full statement which means we're going to write a complete sentence so none of these things since they're indoors we're not going to measure any of them in yards because yards are just for really long things outdoors um, and so these are either going to be feet or inches um, so here we have an uh, let's think of an object like a, uh, a desk how about a desk just think of different things that are in your classroom and some of the things were already on the on the first page so if you can't think of anything at all just look at what was on the first page and we had you know we had a door we had a textbook a pencil those are all things that you can find in your classroom you can, let's see a desk is another thing so think about your desk um, that's really not going to be is it going to be two whole feet across it might not be uh, I think you, you could measure that in inches I would use inches to measure, measure the length of a desk. Uh, now an object, uh, let's see, how about a something small like a marker? And marker is going to be less than a ruler, so you're definitely going to use inches for that. I use inches to measure a marker and then I'll leave this one for you to figure out something else that you can remember and if you want to think of something big like uh, a whiteboard or uh, a window if it's, if it's a really long window, uh, you might measure that in feet. But most things are going to be inches. Most things indoors you'd measure with inches. Only really large things you, would you measure, like the length of a room uh, or the, the height of a door. Uh, things like that you, would, you might measure in feet. Or uh, the height of a window. It might be something you could measure in feet if it's a, if it's a, if it's a big window. Name three objects in your home. Decide which unit you would use to measure that object. Record it in the chart in a full statement. These are all going to be objects that are inches or feet. And so let's, how about a, uh, a coffee cup? So here's a coffee cup. And here's a ruler. And you can see that the ruler is a lot longer than the coffee cup. So I would use inches to measure the length of a cup. And maybe you've got something like a fork. Maybe the same fork we used in our earlier homework assignment. That's something you're gonna measure. It's gonna be a lot less than a ruler, probably. And uh, so you, you're gonna measure that. You're gonna count that in inches because it's gonna be less than a foot. So you can say a fork. Uh, I use inches to measure a fork and uh, the last one I leave for you to figure out um, you don't have to measure it you don't have to actually measure it just think w would it be right if it's gonna be much more than than two rulers long then you're gonna use feet to measure it uh, and if, uh, otherwise, you're going to use inches, uh, yards, or for things of, for outdoors.